Hello, hi everyone. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, I am thrilled to be here, part of Yorkshire Yarn Festival. I know I'm slotted on right at the end. So there's been a really busy day full of um, wonderful dyers showing you all their wares. Um, so thank you if you are watching me. Um, there's so many talented people out there, more and more all the time. And um, it's a privilege to be part of it. Um, I am not live as I can't be here today. Um, but Sophie has been amazing of Yorkshire Yarn Festival and has allowed me to pre-record my slot. So um, I'm really happy to be here, but I'm missing the interaction. I can't see any of you and I can't answer any questions that you might have. So after this um, slot, if you do have any questions, just get in touch. Um, so a little bit about me, I'm Kirsty. I'm Kirsty from Shilliza Yarns company I run with my husband Simon who's usually alongside me but he's not here today so it's just me um, and we have been running the company for three years now. Shudister itself has been running for 40 years so it's um, a really well established yarn company that that works with natural dyes um, and our passion really is using as many local dyes as we can. Um, we love reacting with the seasons, watching the plants grow, um, harvesting, uh, using them, just connecting to the landscape. And the more you work with local plants, I think the more connected you become to the landscape. Um, so yeah, we're really lucky to do what we do. So I shall crack on because I know time speeds on and these things. Um, and I didn't actually really notice what time I started at. So uh, the theme, as you will all know, if you have been watching the slots through the day, is friendship. Um, and initially, when I saw that theme, I was a bit like, oh, you know, um, I wasn't sure what my take would be on it. So um, sort of my first point of call was um, researching uh, traditionally what the what colour friendship is represented in paintings and and, and different things like that and symbolism. So um, what kept coming about was the yellow rose is um, symbolic of friendship and, and the color yellow. So um, here on Sky, we have so many yellow dye plants. Um, they're from a, a family called the flavonoid family. Um, and the majority actually of plants on Sky will, will yield, dye plants on Sky will yield a yellow, um, which can be shifted um, using postmordants and pH to, to different shades, usually to like a khaki green. So yellow was good because yellow we can do with our local plants. Um, so my first um, starting point was um, we got a stock in, which is one of our sock yarns and um, using local heather, which I'm going to show you here, I've got so there's two different types of heather on sky, really, that you see growing around the place. Um, there's bell heather, which has flowers which are shaped like bells and very, very bright pink. And they, they come out first. So they're out now. Boom, everything's looking gorgeous. Um, and then just at this stage, really. So you see that the flower is here. It's a lot smaller, the flower. This is ling heather. And they've got a lot smaller and they're sort of more the purpley colour. Um, and that is how it looks just now. So this was picked last year and, and dried, um, which is a, often a thing that we do. You can use a lot of the natural dye plants fresh or dried. So this was last year's dried heather. And so we have dyed up on our stock and sock yarn, this lovely, it's kind of looking a little bit more washed out in this light. It's really sunny here on Sky today, which is very exciting because we haven't had sun. Uh, we've been, uh, we've had sea har plopped on top of us for the last few days. So we've been hearing how amazingly hot it is everywhere else in the UK. So um, we dyed this up um, for the festival. So, and that's on our shop now. So it is our stock in sock yarn and it is dyed in ling heather. But I wanted to do something a bit more special that we wouldn't normally do ever. Um, so we have dyed speckles entering the world of speckles. So this is called Friendship. Um, I was speaking to my children about colours of yarn, you know, when we were thinking about all of this, and both of my boys said that the colours that represented friendship to them were yellow and red. So I was like, fine, let's go for that. That's, uh, and they're thrilled, and they've uh, been watching the process. So you can see that there's 
these speckles going throughout. So I thought they'd be quite nice knitted up together, actually, maybe in a striped shawl or something, and you could have your solid line. And then you've got these, these speckledy red, which just makes it a bit more interesting and a bit more special. So that is our friendship stocking yarn. And this is our yellow bling heather one. Um, and we do have a, I haven't got a sample knitted up in these because I'm very disorganized. Um, I have, we've got a lovely, uh, the next person I wanted to talk about actually as the theme is friendship is my friend Heike, who is from Made by Luke's. And Heike came to stay here. We've got a B&B, &B, we've got our wool shop, we've got a yoga studio and we've got a three bedroom B&B. &B. And Heike came to stay here a couple of years ago and um, with her family and they stayed for a few nights and you know she kept coming into the wool shop and we we started talking and then a friendship began and and it's grown from strength to strength and it's really lovely when we started the yarn company um i didn't have any connections in the yarn business at all and it was quite daunting jumping in and maybe feeling like there were strong connections um with other people um you know you're watching other friendships and how designers and and dyers bounce off each other and and I was thinking oh I would love love to have that um but it takes time and it takes meeting people and and creating a friendship and I didn't even seek it with Heike it's just happened and it's really really special how we're evolving um and we've both gone through experiences in our own lives um that are maybe difficult and but we're communicating and talking and designing on different projects together. So I'm really excited to do the friendship theme today and to celebrate mine and Heike's friendship, which is um, becoming more and more important as I think friendships do. Um, there's all different types of friendships, but um, this one is really special and I, I value Heike's friendship a lot. Um, so this is one of her designs that she's done for us. It's a sock. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see all the lovely there's like some twisting. Um, this is another one of our sock yarns, which I was just going to hold up. So that's it there. It's bundle dyed um, and it's the stocking yarn. And I bundle dyed it with marigold petals and madder. And it just knits up really beautifully. I'm not doing the pattern justice at all in this light. So there's kind of um, knitting and purling and then these little twists, which are really, really pretty. So... Um, if I did have more time, I intended to knit this up in Heike's pattern and it would be full circle. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. So that's the sock yarn. And I'm going to move that out of the way. And then, so that was just some dyeing that we did that we wanted to do for the festival. And then with Heike, um, when we got the brief through friendship, I got in touch with her and um, said, you know, I wonder I could... Could you think of doing anything? Could we do anything on the theme of friendship? And we were batting around ideas of friendship bracelets, um, you know, maybe some wrist warmers uh, on the theme of friendship bracelets and that kind of idea of linking. And so the uber talented hiker has come up with these. Okay, which I just love. They're so good. So, um. I was going to tell you about them, but Heike has done her pattern. Sorry, it's in black and white. Um, I just quickly printed it out. Um, and I thought I'd read what she wrote because it's really, really pretty. So Friendship Forever, the wrist warmers, or Car Just Goubra in Gaelic, which I pronounce really badly and I do apologise. So celebrating the power of friendship plus the warmth of beautiful Tuath, which is what they're knitted in. That's very kind of her to say. It's 100% Shetland wool and it's a four ply. Um, Kirsty and I have created these beautiful wrist warmers. They represent an affirmation of our growing friendship, signified by bands of colour replicating the tradition of friendship bracelet bracelets. Our friendship started two years ago when I visited the Alice Guy and has grown into a bond of mutual understanding, generosity, kindness and affection. Heiko, you say it better than I. Thank you. So thrilled, absolutely delighted. Um, so we've made up some kits. So the ones that I'm wearing here... You can see when you buy the kit, which is online, you get three colors. Um, these ones here, it is, so yeah, it's a Shetland four ply. So the fleeces for the yarn are all grown on Shetland. So it's um, authentic Shetland. And 
it's really just so lovely to knit with. Bouncy, strong, uh, woolly, just uh, airy, really, really lovely. Um, and this kit that we set up, you've got, you get a natural, you get um, a tansy, which is dyed, I've got one here, which is dyed with the tansy flower, which we pick um, from here on Sky, and it gives this lovely zingy yellow. And then also a grey, which we dyed with oak. And it kind of links into the, the friendship theme. Our friends, um, long-term friends, Ken and Jen, who uh, own a timber mill down in Perthshire. And as a byproduct of their business, they have oak shavings, just whatever sort of shavings and sawdust or that's collected as they're, they're sawing their wood. So they bag it up and send it to us which we then dye with. So this lovely oak is dyed with our friend's byproduct, which sounds a bit weird, but anyway, it's lovely. So um, that's the first kit with the tansy and the oak there. And the beauty, I'm gonna whip these off and show you with this one. So the next color, I'll put these on. So the next color, it's so hot today, I kinda got hot and sticky. But the next colorway, which you'll see in the middle, the good news with this pattern is you can get two pairs from the kit. So here we go. This is the next colorway. I feel like I'm on a shopping channel at the moment. It's like being part of The Apprentice. So this is the colorway, the next one that we went for. Um, and it has got Madder, which we import, that isn't local. Um, which gives us our pinks and our reds that you can see up behind me as well. So madder, and this is oak without any iron being added. So Ken and Jen's oak again, and then oak when you add the iron. And with the kit, you can knit two pairs, one for you and one for a friend. So as long as, so you can see there's three circle, uh, five circles, sorry, and I did those ones there and then whatever you've used for your circles can become your main color. So you could wear them like that or you can pass on a pair to a friend. And then the third color the way that we have gone for is this one here, something a bit darker. I'm actually knitting these up for Simon. Um, so we have got there, I'll tell you what we dyed them with. This is Madder. So our pink here, and then we over dye it with indigo and you get a nice inky blue. And then we've got our tansy, over dyed with indigo, gives us this delicious forest green. And then our oak, again, that is in everyone actually, this gray, I'm a gray, gray lover. And I haven't finished these ones, but you can see I'm knitting them up. So I'm gonna do these ones green with these stripes and then I'm gonna do a blue pair as well and I'll have one and I'll give one to Simon. So that is what we've come up with, which I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled to, to do. It's been so much fun to knit these. It's just, it's got enough going on with these bumps. You sort of, you knit along and then you're just turning your work, knitting, purling, turning your work. So there's enough going on, but they grow really quickly and you knit them in a rectangle and then you, you sew the seam up the side. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there, I think. Um, it's the end of a long day for you if you've been watching all the lovely vendors. Um, thank you very much for watching um, me. Everything is going to be on the website now. So um, hop over there if you wish. Um, the kits, remember, you get... You can knit two pairs as long as you alternate your main colour. And thank you. And yeah, thank you, uh, Heike, for being such a wonderful friend and being in, involved in this with me. And thank you, everyone. Okay, enjoy your evening. And thank you, Yorkshire Arm Festival.